Hey, when are you coming home? It's time to get ready for dinner. I don't know where you've been wandering around. Just come home and cook. What is this all of a sudden? I'm really busy at work right now. I told you I'll be home late for a while, didn't I? Stop lying. What? Work? Over time? If you have time to lie, go buy some food for dinner. What's going on, Mom? You know I usually get home at 10 p.m. We agreed that you do all our meal preparations. I don't understand why you're suddenly telling me to cook. Don't call me Mom. It's filthy. Huh? What? I'm your father's wife. I'm not your mother. Sure, my mother died ten years ago. You're my stepmother. But you forced me to call you mom when I was little. What are you talking about now? Oh dear, Tiki. I didn't raise you that way. I hate lies. What's this all about all of a sudden? Besides, you didn't raise me, right? You told everyone that you'd take care of me. You forced me to call you mom and you pretended to be a good mother outside. In reality, you only cared for my sister Izzy and my grandma and grandpa took care of me. And once my grandparents were gone, you made me drop out of high school and get a job. Just come back home. We are having a family meeting. What? Family meeting? About what? I have to lecture you about your future. A lecture? I don't understand. It doesn't sound urgent. Send me a message. I'll check that in between work. Enough with the lies. How can you say I'm lying? I really don't get it. We already know you're unemployed. What? Me? Why did you think so? You saw me go to work, didn't you? You've been going somewhere instead. Maybe a bar or something. I don't remember having a daughter like that. I want you home in an hour. Got it? Will you answer my question? I'm the one who wants to ask you questions. Just come home. What the hell is wrong with you? I've got a meeting I've got to get to. What? A meeting at this time of night? If you're going to lie, do it a little better. Our client is overseas, so there's a time difference. It's night here, but it's daytime there. You don't have a job. What are you talking about? How many times do I have to tell you? I do have a job. I can't talk to you. Hey, that's enough. Sis, it's all over, isn't it? I'm sorry for what happened. What's going on? What's the matter with you? The matter is you. You skipped the family meeting and didn't come home yesterday. You came home in the morning and had a breakfast. Who do you think you are? That's disgusting, like a thief. Mom and I are furious with you. A thief? Don't talk like that. I had some trouble at work and had to stay overnight at the office. 
I just showered, changed, and had breakfast at home this morning. It's happened before. It's my house, so there's no problem. Are you seriously saying it's your house? I'm serious. What? That's so gross! I don't remember letting an unemployed person eat free food in my house. Are you saying that too? I do have a job. You're a liar! We were talking about you last night. You were afraid that we would come after you, right? No, I wasn't. I was really working late. I'm exhausted from dealing with all the trouble, so don't be crazy. If you ask us, you're the trouble. The fact that you didn't show up for the family meeting is the best proof of that. And yet, you still came back to have your breakfast. You're so disgusting. I told mom I couldn't make it because I had to work. I asked her to message me. She hasn't sent me anything since. It's not like it's a big deal, so of course I put work first. That's what I'm saying. This was an emergency meeting to discuss the lie about your job. So, why do you and mom think I don't have a job? I've been working all my life. I was always treated poorly in the family, but you never said that until yesterday, did you? Why all of a sudden? We found out yesterday morning. The fact that you weren't actually working. You can't hide it anymore. What? Why? What on earth is going on? We heard it from Abby, your classmate from junior high school. I met her by chance on my way to the station. Abby? Oh, I remember. She knows you too. Yes, Abby told me. You said you just retired at your class reunion. What? Why did she say such a thing? The last time you had a reunion was about five years ago, right? I can't believe you have been unemployed for this long. Well, I did move to another company after that. I don't think so. You make $5,000 a year. Huh? I searched your room to find out what's going on. You went through my room without permission? Stop doing that! Then, what's with that bank statement? I looked at the total amount of transfers from just a year ago, and it was only $5,000. In other words, $5,000 a year. That's nothing. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? $5,000? What are you really talking about? After a family meeting, we decided to kick you out of the house. Huh? We don't want you in our house, so we will ask you to leave. You are a big liar, too. Your imaginary overseas business partners? It's so creepy. I even suggested that you could be our housekeeper. But we don't want to eat the food you prepared. So, we agreed to kick you out. So, don't come back. What do you mean? I really don't get it. 
You chose not to attend the family meeting. You have no right to complain. Mom says you're not family because you're not blood related to her. I don't want to think of this filthy woman as my sister either. Huh? I threw all your stuff in the yard. Take it and go away. Get on with it. Oh no. It's raining right now. I don't care. You are the one who hid the fact that you are unemployed. I'm so embarrassed. We feel so much better knowing you will be gone soon. You are not good enough for our family. A lazy, unemployed woman. Get out now! You don't seem to be listening to me at all. I don't want to. Just to make sure I'm clear. Does this mean mom and dad agree with you? Of course! I told you we had a family meeting. Oh, but let me correct one thing. Mom says you're not her daughter. So, your dad and stepmother agree with me. They want you out of the house. Well, then I want you to promise me one thing. What? After I leave this house, you're not gonna have anything to do with me. Wait a minute! Of course not! What are you talking about? That's my line! You are so cocky! Don't even depend on me for money in the future! Useless jobless woman! You're trying to harass me because you got kicked out? What you are doing is a crime! Turn yourself in now and return the money! Or else I will report you to the police! What's wrong? I'm not sure, but I don't remember doing anything wrong. If you want to call the police, feel free to do so. You won't be able to act like that soon! It's obvious that you are stealing our money! Huh? It sounds like you're calling me a thief. What are you talking about? The farmery credit card! The bill is so high! We are not doing anything special. I can only assume that you are using it a lot. No, I don't use the family card. I use my own card. Please don't make these accusations. Don't lie to me. Be honest with me. This is stealing, okay? You don't have a job and have been eating our food. I let you off the hook and you are spending a lot using our credit card. It's a good thing I kicked you out, a nasty person like you. Now, if you honestly admit what you did and return all the money, I'll forgive you without making a big deal out of it. Huh. Then you can report me. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh dear. What a child! How dare you! I'm so disgusted! Just hurry up and pay me back! And from now on, change your attitude and work hard! Get a job that pays more than $50,000 a year! You got two digits wrong! What? What are you talking about? Izzy said your annual income was $5,000. That's not true. The 
then you can't be serious. If I'm wrong about two digits, that means your annual income is $500,000? Don't be ridiculous. You're not making as much as you should be. Whatever you're doing is not worth it. I had no idea you were this stupid. I do make $500,000 a year. What? I don't know how easy Miss Reddit. $500,000 is my annual income. Huh? What? What? Izzy is a college graduate, and I think she's not that dumb. I think she simply misread it. My annual income is $500,000. You say all that stuff. You still need to take responsibility. You know what? You've got to realize something now. What? My father is a really lazy bum. He has been unemployed for a long time. Can't you see that? Huh? I think it was a year ago. Dad's company went bankrupt due to the recession. What? Your father's company went bankrupt? He hasn't told you, or is he? I had to find out because my company is in the same line of business. Until he gets a new job, I secretly put $4,000 a month into your account for living expenses. 4000 And besides, did you say you are working for a company? Yes. I've been working there for five years. Five years? You could have at least told me. I said it back then, and I think I've said it many times since then. I told you that I'm changing jobs because I'm taking over my boyfriend's father's company. My boyfriend has things he wants to do, so... What? Did you really tell me that? I thought you were aware of that. You haven't noticed for five years? You clearly don't care about me. I have been so busy because in addition to my original responsibilities, I have to make the rounds to greet people and attend meetings to get to know them as the next president of the company. I'm also working hard to learn new things. The next president? That's what I'm saying. Right now, I make $500,000 a year, including long hours and overtime. When I become president, my job will be easier and my income will increase. What? Is it going to go up even more? How much more? I don't know. It depends on the company's performance. Maybe around a million? A million? Really? That's amazing! As a mother, I'm proud of you! What are you talking about? My mother is dead. Don't act like that. What? Why would you say that? You told me, remember? You are not my mother. That's not true! And on top of that, I was kicked out of the house for a misunderstanding without being allowed to correct it. You really are a terrible family. You are the one who didn't show up for the family meeting. It's your fault. I couldn't leave because I had to attend the meeting and I asked you to message me. 
I told you, didn't I? Actually, it wasn't urgent that I had to leave, so that's good. Um, um, Millie? What? If that's the case, you can come back to our house, okay? We are family, so let's live together! Huh? You can continue depositing $4,000! Huh? You promised you wouldn't get involved with me anymore, didn't you? How could I forget? Huh? That's what I called easy. She didn't tell me! Wait! Mom got mad at me because of you! I really don't get it! If you have a job, why didn't you say so earlier? I've been saying that for a long time. You just didn't listen. Don't you dare push me around and make it my fault. But your bank statement did say $5,000! I'm not dumb! You must have misread it. There were some deposits, but you must have missed some zeros. Mom blames me for that! She kicked you out because I made a mistake! She's left with Dad, who doesn't work at all! She's worried that she's not gonna be able to make a living! That's right. Come back now! I don't understand what's going on. You promised me that you wouldn't get involved from now on. When you found out I was the next president, you changed your attitude and asked me for money. Don't you feel embarrassed? That's... I was kicked out of my house. Please don't get involved with me anymore. Sis! From now on... Don't call me sister. Why? I was adopted by my fiancé's parents. So, I don't know anything about you guys. Good luck with your family! Soon after, I blocked my stepmother and sister. Then my father contacted me. I was actually wondering why my father agreed to kick me out. He thought they would know about his situation if he disagreed. He didn't want to disappoint his wife and Izzy. The message said it all. My father had always been arrogant. Even while I was paying for his living expenses, he thought he deserved it instead of being grateful. I was fed up with him, so I blocked him too. A few weeks later, I saw their names on the TV news. They ran out of their money and attempted a robbery. Of course, they failed and were all arrested. I was stunned at how stupid they were, but I'm glad they won't bother me now. It didn't particularly affect my appointment as president. Now I have a fresh start and work hard daily as president.